The one thing that leaves every narcissist stunned. They can't fight it. Have you ever considered what surprises a narcissist the most? Today, we're exploring those unexpected actions that leave them stunned. Prepare for some eye-opening insights. Firstly, they seriously underestimate your ability to walk away for good. They never thought you'd find the strength to sever all ties. Moreover, they completely missed how perceptive you are. You saw through their manipulations. Even more surprising for them was your incredible resilience. Narcissists often thrive on draining others, leaving you feeling devalued and discarded. They operate under the illusion that the world revolves around them and can't fathom you breaking free from their control. So, what comes next? Stay tuned, as I'm about to share the significant changes that follow. In that dynamic, you may have found yourself constantly trying to please others, potentially becoming a habitual yes-sayer. Your boundaries were likely ignored, as the narcissist crossed them time and again. You dedicated endless energy to the relationship and the narcissist, essentially playing the role of the unpaid helper, the one who constantly apologized and managed their chaos. But was that your true purpose? Absolutely not. You sought a balanced, nurturing relationship, but instead, you were caught in a cycle of turmoil. Narcissists are familiar with these tactics, having used them in past relationships, and they continue the same patterns with new partners. Don't be fooled into thinking that being married to a narcissist means you have their full attention. On the contrary, they seek validation from various sources, pets, possessions, other people, online purchases, or social media. They seriously underestimated your capacity to heal and transform after escaping a narcissistic relationship. It's crucial to protect your well-being by establishing firm boundaries to keep negativity at bay. This means disengaging from toxic dynamics and reflecting on your experiences. As you embark on this journey, you might start recognizing other narcissists in your life. Understanding that not everyone has your best interests at heart, with the narcissist being one of the main culprits. Think back to your first encounter with the narcissist. They crafted a perfect image, showering you with compliments and presenting a captivating vision of the future. They spoke about dreams of growing old together, starting a family, or launching a business, fully aware of your goals and desires. From the start, they tested your boundaries to see how much empathy and resources you would provide. Whether you would clean up their messes, shoulder their responsibilities, or invest in their ambitions. This is precisely what the narcissist wants. If you didn't possess something they craved, they wouldn't have pursued you. Narcissists are attracted to individuals who either have a lot to offer or are stuck in cycles of trauma. This need fuels their pursuit. Now, imagine the narcissist is your adult child. If they continue to reach out with threats or burdensome issues, don't expect them to change. Your affection becomes their weapon against you. Understand this. Nothing will improve unless you alter how you respond. Accepting this reality can be challenging. It was for me too. The truth is, narcissists don't evolve. They lack self-awareness, growth, or the ability to change. Their pattern is simple. They take until there's nothing left and then move on to the next target. If your adult child is narcissistic, they may twist things to blame their stable, well-meaning parents for just being themselves. Their aim is to guilt you, keeping you tied to their concerns, making you question whether to send them money or answer their calls. One thing a narcissist doesn't expect is for you to set boundaries, like distancing yourself or cutting off all contact. If your adult child frequently calls or texts, you might choose to gradually limit those interactions. You might start by responding once a day, then a few times a week, and eventually, if it feels right you could decide to cut ties completely. That decision is yours alone. But make no mistake, if you keep any line of communication open with a narcissist, they will continue to drain your energy. They will persist with their victim mentality, shifting blame onto you, and the situation won't improve. This is why the change needs to come from you. You must realize that this is your life, your journey, and your purpose. If you're expending energy on someone toxic, their main goal is to keep you stuck in self-doubt, always available to fulfill their needs. The idea of you disconnecting, blocking them, 
erasing their number, or even distancing yourself from their associates likely never crossed the narcissist's mind. If you've already taken those steps, you know how liberating it feels. If you're still contemplating it, trust that it's a necessary step. And if this is all new to you, understand that unpacking the layers of narcissistic abuse requires time and patience. It's essential to heal from past wounds. This healing may involve journaling, meditating, seeking professional help, and giving yourself space to slow down. There are many steps in the recovery process, which is why leaving this relationship is so crucial. Reflect on your past relationships. Did they require such deep healing? Probably not. If you've lost someone significant, you've mourned. But we have rituals like funerals to honor those who have passed. When a relationship with a narcissist ends, it often happens suddenly, leaving you in shock. You might feel stunned, struggling to comprehend the events as the narcissist reveals their true self, demonstrating their lack of regard for you and how deeply they manipulated you. With a condescending smile and a look of excitement from seeking validation, they confront you, as if saying, this is who I am. What will you do about it? Accepting this reality can be tough, especially since you weren't taught about the intricacies of narcissistic behavior. At this critical moment, it's essential to unravel the complexities of narcissism, even if it feels daunting. As you engage with this content, reflect on your current situation, whether you're about to sleep, sipping your morning coffee, working, or even sitting next to the narcissist in a car, pondering how to escape. Regardless of where you are, understand that you're exactly where you need to be. If your current environment doesn't align with your aspirations, it's vital to recognize that significant changes are necessary, which may involve distancing yourself from the narcissist. Cutting ties with a narcissist can be challenging, so if you find yourself in this position, consider withdrawing gradually. Aim to avoid conflict and use the gray rock method, making yourself unremarkable to disengage from their attention. Stop providing the emotional validation they crave which may leave them confused about your strength and ability to break free from their manipulation. When you choose to cut ties, expect their disbelief. You might even change your environment, like moving or switching jobs, to create a fresh start. Distancing yourself from the narcissist is crucial as greater separation diminishes their influence over your life. As their power diminishes, you will gain clarity and strength, allowing you to recognize the truth of the relationship and the healing you need. What truly confounds the narcissist is your ability to break free. They can't grasp how you found the courage and determination to do so. Throughout your time with them, they never anticipated that you would sever emotional, financial, physical, or spiritual ties. Yet you have either accomplished this or are actively working toward it. Recognizing the importance of distancing yourself from these individuals is vital for your well-being. I have a strong interest in the spiritual aspects of narcissistic relationships, a topic I haven't fully explored in my videos. Many people find this concept challenging to understand, much like they struggle with the idea of narcissism itself, and that's perfectly fine. Those of us who have gone through this cycle and emerged transformed, like a phoenix from the ashes, recognize the spiritual dimensions accompanying encounters with narcissists. There is a lingering energetic connection. You might not fully agree with my perspective or grasp every detail, and that's understandable. If you have an experience in narcissistic relationship, consider yourself fortunate, and I sincerely hope you never do. I wish for these toxic dynamics to disappear, but since that seems unlikely, I'm committed to educating others about the spiritual nuances of these connections. Think back to when someone suddenly crossed your mind, maybe a sibling or a parent, and shortly after, you received a call or a message saying, I was just thinking about you. You might respond, that's incredible. I was just thinking of you too. This illustrates an energetic connection in action. Now consider the narcissist. They emit negative energy that creates a unique spiritual bond, in addition to the emotional, financial, and physical ties we've discussed. However, this spiritual connection is the hardest to break, and it certainly exists. As you heal from a relationship with a narcissist, 
you may find yourself unexpectedly thinking about them or encountering situations that draw you back into their sphere, a phenomenon known as being hoovered. This may occur through unexpected messages, emails, or even a phone call if you haven't blocked them. You might also meet someone, often referred to as a flying monkey, who attempts to engage you in conversations about the narcissist or checks in on your recovery. Recognizing the complexity of these interactions, especially the lingering spiritual ties, is essential. Cutting these connections is crucial for your healing, so safeguard your personal information and avoid attracting the narcissist's attention. It's crucial to recognize that narcissists are aware of the negative energy that keeps you connected to them. This awareness drives them to attempt to pull you back into their lives. Ask yourself, would a genuinely healthy and stable person disturb your peace? Absolutely not. They wouldn't intrude on your life or interfere with your relationships that aren't affected by their narcissism. Healthy relationships promote growth and progression. Some people enter your life for a short time, leaving behind no negativity. Understanding that some individuals are meant for different seasons in your life can highlight the value of healthy connections. Conversely, being involved with a narcissist immerses you in emotional turmoil. You often feel anxious and find yourself tiptoeing around them, gradually losing your identity. This kind of relationship can reduce you to a mere shadow of your true self, leading you to engage in behaviors that don't align with your values. You might say things you never thought you would or act in ways that feel completely foreign to you. This transformation stems from being ensnared in the fog of their control, caught in the trauma bond, or the devaluation phase, often both. This confusion is precisely what the narcissist seeks. Before we conclude, let's reflect on this journey. Imagine yourself after exiting a challenging relationship. Even if you've cut ties with the narcissist, they may reappear in your life after some time, whether that's a week, a month, a year, or even longer. Have you considered why this occurs? The answer lies in an invisible bond that connects you. This connection is why it's vital to maintain distance from toxic individuals. They can reignite your triggers, hinder your progress, and trap you in a painful cycle. Their motives are transparent. They aim to keep your focus on them, taking up mental space without providing any real benefits. They will do everything possible to obstruct your path to emotional freedom and the dreams you cherish. What I call the pinnacle of indifference is that state of liberation many of us long for, which can elevate you to new heights. As you devote time to your personal growth, you become a source of hope in a world that can often feel dark. Your light not only guides your own journey, but also attracts those still caught in narcissistic patterns who will want to learn from your strength and discover how to find their own light. Together, we can act as lighthouses, leading others toward healing and understanding. As we finish, if this message resonates with you, please give it a like and share it with anyone who may benefit. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Let's continue this journey of healing and growth together. Thank you for being here. And remember, your light is powerful. Keep shining.